what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new Italy vlog and unfortunately the last one. We are on our last leg of the trip. So we did Positano and a bunch of day trips throughout there. And then we went to Florence, Venice, and now we are in Rome, Italy, which is probably one of my favorite places because I did this like two weeks study abroad thing with EF Learning Tours. And if you guys remember that, that was like when I was like a junior in college, so it's been a couple of years since I've been to Rome, but I loved every second of it while I was here, and it makes it so much more special now that I'm here with Ryan. And we're staying in the best location. Shout out to Sonder because this location is right next to the Spanish Steps, so it's pretty central to everything, and I can't wait to explore for our official day one in Rome. So I quickly mentioned Sonder, and I wanted to give you kind of like the rundown because I know when you're watching this video, hopefully you'll be planning your Italy trip very soon, and there are so many options for places to stay that it can get really overwhelming, honestly. Sonder is a better way to stay for the modern savvy traveler, and this whole place is so stunning. I feel like all the finishing touches are very like modern and and elegant while still being really minimal and you guys know I love my aesthetics they also have modern service such as like one tap Wi-Fi I mean sometimes it's like actually annoying to like enter the password I mean that's such a first world problem but like it's very easy and so convenient to just like tap and connect and then one of my favorite things about staying in a sonder is that you can actually unlock your door from your iPhone and it's just annoying like bringing around like a hotel key or just like a metal key like I don't want to ever lose it I don't want to ever feel responsible for losing it so you can actually unlock the main door and your room door with just your iPhone last night I actually asked the concierge down stairs where he would recommend for us to eat because it was pretty late i think it was like already 9 40 and i didn't know anywhere that would be open that would be good you know we only have a certain amount of meals to eat so i want them all to be so good and so he recommended this place just down the street like 10 minute walk and it was really good we got carbonara or matriciano and we got the steak dish and they actually have like neighborhood guides so no matter where you are saunders actually in like 35 plus cities um they have guides for you if you've never been there before i personally think the main difference between this and other short-term rental companies are are that it just feels so much more secure and safe because even when I was checking in it was just like such a seamless process but when you know you're with other short-term rental companies sometimes I've heard of horror stories that like they cancel last minute or something happened to the security system but I feel like that would never really happen with Saunders so that's amazing that I feel really safe here we honestly don't have much planned today it's currently noon because we wanted to sleep in feel like we've been go 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 the past few days because we were literally in Venice for less than 24 hours so we didn't have like much time to sleep in we wanted to see the city but today we definitely took advantage of the time that we have in Rome we only have three days here but I feel like that's a good amount of time especially because I've been here before I can show Ryan like all the good hot spots for past trips I've been a planner I need to know what I'm doing to the minute and honestly we have not done that this trip and it's been so much more relaxing and honestly like going into it with no expectations feels a lot better so i was like stressing like two weeks out because i was like i don't have anything planned i didn't even have like some of the places that we were staying booked two weeks out so i was freaking out but, but honestly everything worked out and like i was saying like we want to eat good food especially like the meals that we do have in each city and i was kind of stressing about that because i wanted to like go to the most perfect places but i feel like conveniently we stumbled upon some of the most amazing restaurants in each city and sometimes when i had a little bit more time like the day before i would just go on pinterest really quick and search an itinerary up and see like you know what's the best gelato in Florence or something like that so this is me telling you to not stress out too much about planning your trip unless it's the ticket thing because in Florence we weren't able to see the museum where the David statue was because the tickets were all sold out for the days that we were there it was like literally open or there was more tickets literally the day after we were gonna leave so that kind of sucked but I think that's the only thing that you should really worry about is more of the touristy attractions that you'll need to purchase tickets to but other than that it's just really nice to be able to like almost get lost in the city and just explore on your own so that's what we're about to do not sure what we're gonna do today but as always i'll keep you guys updated also you guys know i had so many cute outfits for this freaking trip planned but it was either too cold or now it's too hot it's 75 we like went outside to the terrace and i felt the sun beaming on me i was like I cannot, I need to like wear no clothes if possible, but um, the set actually had like a matching long sleeve white top that was so cute, but I was like, honestly, I just need to wear a tank top. 
Like I said, comfort over everything, okay? That's the goal of this trip. Flowers are so pretty everywhere. Oh my God, it looks like the flowers were just put there by a florist. Especially like down there right there. So pretty. Flowers don't stop there. They go all the way down to the Spanish Steps. I wonder if they're here every spring because I feel like the last time I went here, there wasn't all these flowers down the middle. which is literally five minutes from the Sondre we're staying at and the reason why it's so well known is because it's the widest and the longest staircase in Europe, I'd say. Right next to the Spanish Steps is Piazza di Spagna and what a piazza is is just like a a marketplace or like a square and I know they have a lot of them in Rome they're like all different kinds of names and they're all so stunning and I think the last time I was here my favorite one was Piazza Novana because that was close to where I was studying for the two weeks and there's like really good gelato over there should we find somewhere to eat and like wanting to like eat them all. Cheers. Mine is like basil, grapefruit, something else. Is it good? Oh, I hate protein smoothies. <laughs> Taste test, Ryan has a minimum human mind. Oh my god. No, no, I'm not exaggerating. This is so good. Wait, it literally tastes like a freaking beach vacation. A what? A beach vacation. Like I should be in an all-inclusive resort right now. Can't really complain a minute, it'll be really still. This is amazing. I'm gonna take their juice recipes and try to make them at home because they're all they all sound so good. Ryan just ordered black rice because he's not feeling so great. And then I got this sandwich with prosciutto, avocado, lime. Oh, it looks so good. Should we just walk to it right now? Or as well. We'll just walk you can by go it. in later if you want. Um, I don't know how we do it in Austin because it's really freaking hot here. It's like 75 degrees, but the sun is just like baking us. Also, I lost my sunglasses like in Pompeii, so I have been trying to find sunglasses, but I'm like, okay, I could literally buy good ones for like $13 on Amazon when I get back, but these are like $20 or 20 euros and they're really ugly, so I've just been holding off, but I might have to cave tonight. Here's where we just were, and right over there is the Colosseum. And then the ruins are like right over there, so you can see it's all really close together. I mean, that is still a far walk, but at least you can see it. a lot later because Ryan has not been feeling so hot like even in the morning he was just not feeling good apparently he threw up like this whole morning and I didn't even wake up which is very surprising to me that's why he got black rice during breakfast because he just didn't really like want anything else but I was like you need to eat something and then we did a little bit of sightseeing 
still wasn't feeling that great. So we came home, took a nap, and he showered. I still don't think he's feeling that good, but I just feel so bad. You sure you want to go somewhere? I'm not going to lay in bed Well, at least we have a nice bed to lay in, if you do. He said he wants to just walk around a little bit, so I put my blazer dress on. This is from Princess Polly. It's from my latest Princess Polly haul, so the link will be under that video. I didn't have time to steam it or iron it, but it's giving me very much hey now, hey now vibes. <coughs> and um, so I think I want to take a picture near the Trevi Fountain, and I'm going to embarrass Ryan and bring out my Insta baddie light. <laughs> you were here, like, Ryan thinks he has gray hairs. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> You see, like over here. No. Like, I think I pulled the one out over here. You just want to like, be a salt and pepper daddy so bad, don't you? I am. <laughs> no, it's not the stuff. I honestly don't even know where we're eating right now, but I just went in somewhere because I was so over it. I got some spaghetti pomodoro and then Ryan got some french fries. Where are we? Las Vegas. <laughs> I really wanted to use my baddie lighting, but like there's like some store lighting right here that could be serving and there's like a billion people here. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not that brave. Well, this means that we'll come back to Rome if you throw a coin in the fountain. Which, I came back to Rome the last time I did this. I came back, so it might be true. <laughs> but also, I think you can make a wish. Yeah, At least I American think so. Pennies. Yeah, American pennies. Let's go. Uh, left shoulder. Okay, ready? Go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Almost 11 and the Trevi Fountain is so fucking busy. Like I literally thought it would be less busy after um, dinner. So it's like, let's take the photos after. But nope. So a whole ton of people here. Day two in Rome and we are on our way to the Pantheon. We had breakfast at the Sonder and then we randomly like found this like really designer mall. It was like actually really cool and about to smell like some sunglasses. Yeah. Actually he, he bought him those, but I'm gonna steal them because he has some other ones and I lost mine in Pompeii, I think I already told you guys. And I was trying to buy a hat at like one of the random convenience stores, but I just didn't love it. It was like 10 euros though, but so I could have done it. But anyways, we're gonna walk to the Pantheon, start our day. I mean, it's pretty late in the day and I don't even really mind that we're getting <coughs> later starts of the day, um, but we are going to the Coliseum tonight. You okay? <laughs> um, we're going to the Coliseum tonight. We have a tour at 4 p.m. Rome they have like these fountains all around and you can drink from them. They're like cold, like actually really good water. It's kind of crazy, but I mean okay, there might be stuff flying around, but. <laughs> do these sunglasses look stupid on me? Because I feel like they do. No, okay, so. <laughs> okay, we're close to Pantheon, gotta keep walking. We made it! This is the Pantheon. and it's probably the coolest thing we've seen in Rome and then we walked outside and everyone was eating sandwiches and they looked amazing so we decided to ask them where they got them and they pointed us over here so we need to find it but they looked really freaking good and we're kind of hungry 
Seems like the line is pretty long, but it might be worth it. Are there two? There look to be two, right? I think that was the most stressful thing in my life. You didn't even try to so speak many, English. <laughs> there so many people, yeah, no English at all. The menu was not in English. Well, there was, I guess, in the New York menu, so we tried to look at that. Very stressful. They, like, so many people were in there, and it was just a small space, no English. But I think I ordered the right thing. I ordered the Tartufo Due, which is a truffle, too. And then what'd you get? Fabulous. Fabulous. So yeah, I just, I honestly just wanted like raw prosciutto and truffle, so. I'm nasty. Hey, I'm not nasty. We ate our sandwiches and now my roof of my mouth is just like torn up so bad because the bread was actually kind of hard. It looked soft, but it was a lie, but it was, it was still pretty good. It was just like a lot of meat, <laughs> but. We are in Piazza Novana right now, and we've been literally sitting here for the past like 20 minutes, I think. It's chilling because, again, we're going on the tour of the Coliseum. It's self-guided, but it's like, you know, you like walk through it and stuff like that, so I just need to chill. Like, I need a break. The sun drains me, so I think we're gonna get gelato, wake ourselves up, and then possibly take like the tram or the bus over to the Coliseum so we don't have to walk too far. The line just got so much longer. I got Frigidarium, that is the flavor, and that's the gelato shop. It's like caramel and cookies. And what'd you get other than that flavor? The, gelato, uh, the Nutella cream okay. or something, yeah, I like it more than that. That gelato is probably my favorite flavor that we've gotten so far, but I think that flavor is only at that one place. It's called the Frigidarium flavor. But we're currently waiting at the bus stop to take the bus all the way over to the Coliseum. I do not want to walk for 30 minutes. I'm pretty tired and we got to save our walking for the tour itself. So we're going to get on the bus and I downloaded this app called Move It. It's pretty easy to follow along. You can also use like Apple Maps too, but I feel like this is kind of more accurate. Coliseum. We did a tour through viatours.com. I found some random one and we just kind of like went with it. It is a self-guided tour through the Coliseum and the Roman Forum, which I don't know if we're gonna do it because at first I thought it would be like kind of like the headphones thing where they would give us something to listen to, but I'm sorry about breath. <laughs> we just walked out the stairs, but it's not, so you just kind of like go in by yourself. It's pretty much like an entry ticket, but just with a fast pass. Since you're with a small group at first, they just like let you in really quickly. So we're in Coliseum, let's go check it out. Right over here is where like the gladiators and animals hung out before they would go on. Kind of like a green room, I guess. We just finished the tour. We didn't realize we actually ended up getting a tour from like three places, so it's gonna take us to the oh, we just walked upstairs again. Um, the Roman Forum too, but we like kind of like walked past that, and since there was no really like being given like throughout the tour we were like okay we already did it so we came to probably the most instagramable place in rome or maybe just like in front of the coliseum but I came here last time to take my photo it's 
concert picture here. And so I'm gonna try to like recreate it or maybe just do another pose, but I want another photo here. Maybe I'll get one with you. Let's do it. Also pro tip, once you come out of the Coliseum, you can come upstairs through the train station. So you don't have to like walk around the winding roads to get right here. That's the view. That's all. That's all. Ryan's turn. Even though he didn't ask for this, I'm making him do it. <laughs> Ryan just got a power rain. <laughs> it's the best thing after a day of sightseeing. It hits different, okay? And this one tastes like those little Kool-Aid, we call them blue boys. You can like literally get them at the dollar store. Well, at least off. me and Ryan call them blue boys. But yeah, they're like the twist off, like really sugary ones. This tastes like it. It doesn't really even taste like a Powerade, but I'm not mad about that. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys like directions on how to get to where we just were. So right behind us is the Coliseum. So turn with me, Ryan. Come on, come on. Okay, Coliseum. And then turn with me over here. This is like the bus station or the train station, I don't even know. But that, that door, all the way over there, you take a left, and then there's just stairs to go up all the way over there. So that's how you can find that little Instagram spot. Just got ready for the night. We came back because Ryan had to send a few emails and I wanted to charge my phone and get my portable charger because it was low battery. And this is the outfit. I'm in love with this blazer. I don't know if I showed you guys. I think I showed it in my last vlog, but I don't know. Well, the last week of my life. This is from Shopo, and it's the best fitting blazer I've ever found. It has these little shoulder pads in it, but it's also so relaxed but structured, and it's oversized, and it's so perfect. And then this top is from Princess Polly, which was in my last Princess Polly haul. Got my Abercrombie jeans, and like always, wearing my New Balance sneakers. They are just the most comfortable shoes ever. And so we're heading to Trastevere for tonight's dinner. Mine's looking spicy tonight. Looking spicy. Look at his you outfit. Say, did you say anything? No, you look good, babe. Thanks. Did you do a watch change? Yeah. Like the Italian leather fits up. It's a San Antonio. Ooh. Fratterday. It's a Fratterday. Perfect, thank you. Got the house wine and he got the house red. Yeah, it's cold. Cheers. I drink Coke so well. It's not that abrasive, it's like cold. Yeah, I like my white wine bag. Good. Look at my videos to show no one. <laughs> Ryan took me to the water. This pretty little bridge. It's not like all the hand over here. I'm actually scared to walk her down these I'm steps. I'm not even hammered. <laughs> Why don't you say like, your camera <laughs> tilted all weird? Why are you laughing at something? Why you really hammered? <laughs> I brought her this water just in case. We didn't throw up on the bus. Ryan! Well, like, you ain't ha you're not even recording. That's why I know you're drunk. <laughs> I'm not hammered. I'm all wine drunk. Sir. It's so dark. How are you <laughs> recording this? Is it? Also, this flashing light is going to freak me out. <laughs> That's a sign we should go home. Go down there? No, we should go home. Let's go inspect what's going on down here. <laughs> the house looking slasher. <laughs> Saturday where usually in America they would have like brunch people just don't <laughs> it's just pizza and pasta and pastries <laughs> just like a whole fuck ton of carbs and I was tr I was really trying to look for a breakfast place but I don't know I couldn't find one so we just, we just had some croissants 
yeah, we did have a late start, so maybe it was earlier, but I'm not really sure. Um, but now, we are going to the Leica store. I used to have an obsession with like getting a Leica camera. If you guys know, it's like a certain brand of camera. And it's very like prestigious. It's not even like in the realm of like other camera brands. Like, can't, yeah, it's like a Lamborghini of cameras. And I've never gone into a store, so I'm very excited to check it out. We just went into the Leica store and we saw like all the cameras in person and not unfortunately, yeah, not all of them because unfortunately the one that um, I was interested in, the color version is like being used for an activity outside, I guess. So there's there's one that's only black and white. It's the Leica Q and it was like a 1.7 lens. You can't change the lens, but like, I don't know if it was a zoom lens or not, but anyways, it was like such a good lens, 47 megapixels. It looked so crisp and clear, and I just really wanted to try out the color lens, but um, anyways, guess how much the camera was? <laughs> I kind of knew it was hella expensive because I had the stream like years ago, and I was like, there's no fucking way I'm buying this camera. It's 5,400 euros, so probably way more. In and you can't change the lens, course. what's the point? Like, just because that good of a lens? A Leica. So? Leica, I'm telling you guys, it's like, top tier it's like she ship the gallery in there the photos were so clear and crisp i didn't even know if i would like use it for like photography like actually my business or maybe i would but i just think for like even videos it looks so good there's this one european vlogger her name is yanni deller she vlogs or used to vlog with uh leica and it was like a cute cute was it two? No, I think it was just like a cute. But anyway, so yeah, my heart's crushed because I couldn't even try out the color and it's so expensive. But one day, I'm speaking it into existence. This bottle came with the room. It's it. it sprays all over me, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh my god. It pops on the spray. It's beautiful. That sound. The, what's it called? Steam? What's it called? Steam. Oh, no, okay. Quite the pour. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It says it's Moscato. That's so good. It's like sweet. Mm. Want to try? Mm -hmm. Don't judge me, guys. <laughs> I don't do this shit all the time. It's like Sprite. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> That's why you <laughs> <laughs> So the plan was to actually buy another suitcase, which we would have to pay for like 85 bucks on the way back, which is kind of annoying, but at least we wouldn't have to worry about like how much our bags weigh, because we know it's gonna be over because on the way here, both of our bags were 51 pounds. So we were gonna buy a suitcase, but we found this duffel that was way cheaper than all the suitcases. We're just gonna like stuff this one and check it. <laughs> and now, since Ryan thinks we have more space, he wants to buy what? Some shoes. Let's see if they have them here. Okay. I don't know where to look. I think that called Comor, right? I don't know. I can't remember now. You look on my phone and texted me the name. But it didn't. Uh, they don't have them in America, so let's see if I can find some. That can be your souvenir. Exactly. I'll never get them again until I come back. Yeah. Back in the Rina Sante we go. So I asked a bunch of people where to find the shoes. They didn't know where to find the shoes, but they had the jackets and they had shirts and everything, so. This will be ordering online internationally. Oh, so you can. You just have to pay more to ship it. I don't know. I, I tried to go on. They didn't have a U.S. site or anything, so I'll know when I get to the U.S. if they're gonna be able to like. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So got it. See. I was like researching so much on which restaurant to go to because it's our last meal here, so I wanted it to be really good. And I thought we were gonna go to Tristevere, but we like saw this place and it looked so nice, and we we're just like, you know what? 
It looks good. Let's just eat here. So we're at this place. We'll let you know if it's any good or if Ryan gets food poisoning. I also forgot the bus passes, so I was like, yeah. that would be the worst idea if we ate here. <laughs> yeah, we should probably go home a little bit earlier tonight, because um, I still have some work to do, what? and we gotta pack. You're gonna be on a plane for like 20 hours. You I can't work on the plane? I'm just like not a person who works on the plane. I just fall asleep, and I wake up, and I fall asleep, and I eat, and I fall asleep. And I'm just asleep for the whole day, so looking forward to it. But anyways, yeah, so I'm really excited about this restaurant. They asked if we had a reservation. We didn't, but they got us in because dinner only starts at 7, so we're going to order drinks at 6.52. So, very excited for our last meal. Hopefully it's really good. The last supper in Rome. The Romans. Do as the Romans do. We're all puns from, for Rome. I feel like Rome has all the puns. On an evening in Roma, do as the Romans do. Mm -hmm. Rome wasn't Rome wasn't built in a day. I feel like there's so many puns for Rome. Those aren't puns, right? They're just sayings. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're gonna look at the drink menu and decide what we want. Dinner was really good, the pasta was really, really good. We walked 20 minutes for this because I really liked the flavor. So, cheers to our last night in Rome. I showered, I washed my hair, got into my bougie pajamas that I've been wearing the past like three nights, but I don't even care. I've been just packing for the past few minutes and it seems a little too good to be true because I packed so fast, but like on the way home, packing is so much easier because you really just all throw it in the bag. Plus, since we got the duffel, that definitely like saves some space and so I'm not just shoving everything in one bag which is awesome but from now on we're gonna start traveling with a little travel scale because we still don't know how much weight our bags are so it kind of is still like a gamble when you're going to the airport and you're like oh, is it gonna be under 50 are they gonna yell at me are we gonna have to do the embarrassing thing where we open our bags in front of everyone and like put stuff in the other bag that is like literally the worst thing ever but it was our last night in Rome and it was our last day in Italy and this whole Italy trip was so amazing and if you guys want to see more content I pretty much did mini vlogs for every day in Italy on my TikTok and I also made a whole Italy highlight on my Instagram and there will also be a lot of feed content and like honestly so much more TikToks to come because I took so many like vertical videos now that vertical videos are a thing now because of TikTok and Instagram reels so I'm definitely gonna like repurpose that footage some way somehow probably with like just random TikTok trends in the future so definitely go follow me on both platforms they are so underscore gnarly without the G and before you leave this video don't forget to subscribe down below I'm so excited for summer in Austin so there will be many more weekly vlogs coming your way and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.